I'm Ian Barrett, one of the administrators for Physician Leadership Academy. I'm always very excited to talk about PLA. Our 15 graduates this year will join the 27 other physicians who've graduated from Physician Leadership Academy in previous years. And they are our future at UTMB because we look to them to lead us into the future. The PLA to me is unique in the sense that it really does identify people from across the institution who have a lot of potential for growth in their careers and we want to enhance that. We want to take a purposeful approach to the growth of a career in people in our institution and that betters them but clearly from a somewhat selfish standpoint it betters the institution as well. There's so many opportunities to lead here at UTMB. We have over 12,000 employees all working for a shared goal, working wanderers together. But the challenge is how do we do that effectively? And the Physician Leadership Academy is designed to give people tools and practical work experience to accomplish that goal. The Physician Leadership Academy, I believe, is uh, special in its own way to each of us uh, somewhat differently. Uh, for me, I found the mentoring to be uh, quite spectacular uh, and uh, one of the high points. I really like the lectures, uh, th things like from human resources, uh, from recruitment, um, from some of, some of the budgeting and business aspects, uh, you know, really kind of gave insight in, into how the institutions run and how decisions are made. The program consists of six different components. There is the assessments. We begin with an assessment center. Then we move into an individual development plan. Each physician receives coaching from a senior physician. There is the didactic or the in-class component. There is a capstone project. And then there is a relationship building component. I think the, the capstone project, um, being able to put uh, skills that uh, I've learned in the past as well as during the Physician Leadership Academy uh, into uh, a real uh, situation, uh, working with a team, working with uh, um, our uh, executive sponsor uh, and um, taking a, a project that started as uh, simply a question and actually being able to bring something to fruition that we're able to present and, and potentially pilot in the future. Um, one of the most valuable things that I found from working with the Physician Leadership Academy is actually the mentor, Dr. Raji. He helped me quite a bit uh, to extend some of my research projects and also helped me to find a good uh, epidemiologist that could assist me with the statistics on my existing research projects. In terms of being surprised with this academy, I would say you learn to be humble, you learn humility because you are put in front of your colleagues and you have to explain yourself, you have to justify your thinking, and you have to be witty. So that is the, the biggest struggle that I had when I uh, went through this program, but I'm a much stronger leader now because of that. Lucky enough to join them in February, and so I got the second half of the program, and I got to see their best, I think, because they had been together for a while, and I got to see the culmination of the relationships being really strong and us coming together monthly and talking about different business related themes and leadership and talking about assessments. And we bring in speakers from University of Houston Clear Lake, um, change management, theory, management models, and to see them sit together and talk about non-doctor things, but real doctor things was very fascinating to me. So one of my favorite things about the Physician Leadership Academy was the mentoring program built into it. We had an assigned mentor that we met with every month and that was great just to have an opportunity to sit down in a non-formal setting and discuss career paths and advancements and get some advice on how to make those advancements. There are a couple of favorite things about the PLA such as uh, the assessments uh, with its analysis and the group discussions they all led to personal and professional growth. And this, the Leadership Academy kind of takes a step back, you analyze yourself, uh, and then it gives you some of the tools uh, 
to succeed and some information. It was, it was a wonderful resource to interact with some of the leaders that have already made it to that step in their career. Further on in the course, I found it very relevant to get input from some of the UT-specific modules, uh, such as re human resources and the legal department. This helps me understand the intricacies of the institution, not globally, but specifically uh, relative to UTMB. One of the things I feel that was valuable about this program was um, the classes. The classes were great. Um, medical school doesn't really teach us or prepare us for the business world or the business side of things. And I feel like the classes allowed us to learn uh, many of these topics um, in a pretty short amount of time from very uh, knowledgeable uh, lectures and I just felt like that was invaluable. I think you would agree with me that the projects that were chosen are important to UTMB's future. Those projects were improving length of stay greater than 10 days, improving patient engagement, the optimal clinic care team membership, and the optimal clinic design. We look forward to what our physicians will report and the recommendations that they will make to our executives. Congratulations to the PLA class number three. I'm very proud of all you guys and gals. I think it's been a great session and I've enjoyed working with each and every one of you. I think this is a great opportunity for each of you to take the learning that you have and apply it in your lives as well as here at work. We know that you guys working together with the teams that are already in place can make a huge difference here at UTMB. Again, congratulations on your graduation and I look forward to seeing and working with each of you in the future. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.